Hey vlog buddies, so it is watermelon season and I know that eating healthy desserts can totally be a challenge. However, I have an amazing recipe for you and for it, you are going to need a watermelon and you'll need some yogurt. I like to use Greek yogurt. You could also use some sort of low fat yogurt, whatever yogurt you use. Try to get something that's plain and look to make sure that there's not a lot of added sugar in it. And you are gonna top your cake off with any kind of berries, anything that you want. I'm gonna use strawberries and blueberries but you can use whatever is in season or available for you. So let's get started, woo! Okay, so take your big watermelon and you're gonna cut it with a knife. You're gonna cut out like a big middle section, almost like a tire, and you're gonna pull it out and you're gonna put it on a plate and it's basically the base of your cake. I think at this point it's also easiest to cut your cake, kind of like pre-slice it. You can also do it after, but this keeps it really clean. Now you're going to take your yogurt and you're gonna spread it over the top of the cake almost like it's a layer of frosting. So spread it on real good. Yeah, that's right, just like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so wash your berries and slice them up and then top them on your cake. So pretty. One here, one there. Oh, it's very pretty, very pretty. And voila, I like to garnish my watermelon cake with a little bit of mint to make it real pretty. And this is basically like the antithesis of a Paula Dean cake, which probably has 18 sticks of butter. This is healthy, delicious, nutritious, refreshing, and juicy. What more could you ask for? Let's be real. If you guys want another healthy dessert recipe, I will put the link to my three ingredient healthy cookies. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out. All you need are two bananas, one cup of quick oats, and a handful of raisins.